This particular tree right here is a hemlock. Quite common here in the northeast. I don't know how far up they go. They are uh, softwood, small needled softwood. You look at the bark, and I'm going to whack a few branches off from that, too. That's not known for any kind of pitch or rosin. Never seen it in it that I've attention to, but we're going to get a few branches of that and see what we can do with some of that, too. Much to my surprise, I hope that's picking that up right there. This is Northeastern Hemlock. Never heard of it or thought it had fatwood, but much to my surprise, that certainly looks like it. Well, it's starting to rain pretty good, whether you can hear that or not. And, uh, geez, that feels pretty dry. Anyway, we're not doing that today. We're going back to the shed and we're going to try to light a couple fires with hemlock and walnut and see how it goes. I'm going to get out of the rain here before I'm soaked. And there will be more to this video. But I, I never noticed that in hemlock before. I never knew it had fat wood. My other property has a ton of it. And I don't know if that's fat wood or not. It doesn't have very much smell. But it certainly has some color. Well, I'm going to get out of here because I'm getting wet. Okay. Little dead hemlock branch. Hemlock grows here in the northeast. In a lot of places. Not a very... It's timber is used, but it's not a highly valuable tree for like framing lumber or anything. Ah, uh, but I never thought it had fat wood. And I'm hoping there's light enough, and the camera's kind of picking that up where I cut that off. So I'm not going to split it with that knife. I could go in the house and get a different knife, but I'm going to clean it down and see if that stuff lights well let me get it scraped down and then i'll put this on a tripod and we'll start it up and see what we got here okay i'm working inside my dim lit garage because it's pouring out you saw where i cut these hemlock branches off a hemlock tree and what i thought was fat wood or could be. It has absolutely no rosin smell. And I cleaned it up from the bark, cut it down. There's another piece there. You know, I showed you where I started with that. And uh, we'll scrape some off. Hemlock does not carve well or scrape. Well, it doesn't scrape bad, but it's not like pine. It's not like white pine. Actually, the lumber is more in the line of red pine, now that you mention it. And uh, let's round this up in a pile. Take one of Nathan's ferro rods. I get along very good with these, these rods. That, that size right there, just... Uh, I have a bigger one. I haven't mastered yet, but I should work with it more. Oh my god. Uh, how many people knew that good old eastern hemlock had enough fat wood in its branches to save your ass? I certainly did not know that. I mean, yeah, this bushcrafting camping following on YouTube, I, I follow a lot of people here, has certainly taught me a lot and I learn a lot every day. I'm going to do that again because I'm in disbelief. I really am. I never would have given good old hemlock the time of day to save my life. I would have walked right past it trying to find some other wood. It doesn't have a rosin smell. There's absolutely no nice um, fat wood smell
I don't even think it's rated as having fat wood. Never heard of it. Never seen it run a sap or... Now I know this was fresh cut off a tree today. I'm going to show you in some upcoming videos that you can shave other hardwoods whoops, here in the Northeast and build yourself a fire. But they do not light like that did. That's lighting like fatwood to me. You can be the judge. Now, I don't, there doesn't appear to be a lot in it. I don't know. I've got a ton of hemlock over on my other land. And when it's not raining, I'm going over and flatten one of the big ones and chop into it. There's some dead hulks there on the ground. And see what's there. That definitely would have... That would light a fire. I am very, very surprised at that. I never expected that. Well, thanks for watching, but uh, please, please comment. I mean, how many of you knew? Let's split this. See what it looks like. Go down the center. See, just see how deep it does run. No, it does not run very deep. You could see it would go in more towards the center of the tree. So I am wondering on a rotted hulk where I can get in and get to the center of the tree. Or even in the stumps, I don't know. I haven't found any in the stumps on red pine. Hope I didn't blind everybody. Anyway, we'll shut that off. Thanks for watching. That's You learn something new every day. Oh, and Tom, what do you think? Take it off or leave it on? I kind of like it. Let's hear some opinions from the experts.